Hello team, welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan, MSP, it's Ukraine War, breaking news update really for the 8th of July 2024. I just wanted to speak a little bit more about the strikes that uh, we are seeing more and more imagery from concerning particularly Kiev, but not just Kiev, and concerning hospitals, and I say hospitals, plural. Okay, so we are seeing more and more imagery coming out of a the results of a wave of Russian missiles that struck many places around Ukraine, but particularly Kiev. And in Kiev, one of the places that was struck, and perhaps multiple times, not sure yet, but, but certainly at least once, is a hospital um, that... It has had devastating damage done to it. It's a children's hospital, which is even worse. And there have been these claims from the Russians that the, these were air defense missiles or is a missile being sent awry by Ukrainian air defense, uh, so on and so forth. The usual sort of claims, but I don't think these are holding up at all to the evidence that we are being presented with. So first of all, I mean, absolutely horrific uh, videos coming out uh, of, of these strikes and not just this strike um, but but these others we're going to talk about some of the information uh, concerning the one on Kiev particularly in a minute uh, but here's United 24 releasing a video that shows a ballistic missile slamming down it, it appears or uh, with a ballistic trajectory uh, not some kind of air defense an air defense missile won't cause huge destruction right it's designed to take out a another missile flying in the air it doesn't have a huge warhead very quick flying missile that either explodes on that missile or explodes in front of it and covers fragments or, or you know covers a missile with fragments to destroy the missile so air defense missiles don't slam into buildings and cause massive explosions like that okay so this is not an air defense missile they're, they're, I, i'm absolutely positive about that here we have um julian rupka saying russia aimed its ballistic missile attack at the Okmadit Children's Hospital Toxicology Building, no air defense missile affected the flight path. Uh, this is a missile coming down on a very tight angle, which is what you'd expect with the ballistic missile. So cruise missiles fly like this, low to the ground, and then have a kind of terminal phase that, that will give, give you know, a slight dip or it will come down from low to the ground to hit the, hit the target. Ballistic missiles have this kind of parabolic trajectory that go up often into the atmosphere uh, and then come down really very quickly. And that's why they're so hard to um, to defend against. The speed with which they come down and the angle with which they come down is, is incredibly challenging. And this is exactly what you see here. So this is a ballistic missile slamming into a children's hospital. And it's, it's really as simple as that. But it gets worse. So a second hospital has been hit in the same wave. Um, either Ukrainian air defense have really bad luck, I said here, or Russia are moral monsters, right? So uh, Jimmy Russian saying, A, Russia has bombed a second hospital in Kyiv. At least four people were killed in a missile strike at another medical institution, this time a maternity hospital, a children's hospital and a maternity hospital. OK, 29 people at least have died so far. I'm sure many more across Ukraine in the attacks that took place uh, today. Absolutely disgusting. But it gets worse because there is actually a third hospital that was hit. So in today's massacres, Russians weren't satisfied to bomb the children's hospital in Kiev and another medical center in Kiev, a maternity hospital. But another hospital in Dnipro was also hit with ballistic missiles three hospitals either that's insanely bad luck for ukrainian air defense or the russians are targeting these hospitals indeed we have darth putin tongue-in-cheek taking the mickey trolling putin says how many children's hospitals must i accidentally bomb before you realize it's deliberate and that's the point this is absolutely cynical is disgusting from russia Phillips O'Brien. Uh, but, you know, it would be really escalatory if the US enabled Ukraine to hit the launch sites from where this children's hospital was attacked. Uh, Anton Gerashenko saying toxicology ward has been destroyed in the children's hospital. There might be children under the debris. This is a well-known hospital all over the world. It treats the most serious cases, including the children who have been injured by Russian attacks. Seven people confirmed dead in Kiev, the number likely to grow. I think 29 is the last I have seen 
uh, in, in total. This is absolutely horrific and there is absolutely no excuse here. No excuse at all. Whichever way you try and slice and dice what has happened, Russia are to blame. This is terrible. Uh, and I just hope that the good that comes out of this, the silver lining to this very dark cloud, is that we have a NATO summit pretty much now. And these events will be reported in such a way, as you can see, Gabriela Landsberg is here, the Lithuanian foreign minister, in such a way that there is unequivocal support for Ukraine in striking further into Russia, in supporting Ukraine in general. Like, so Landsberger says, as Putin sends his greetings to the NATO summit by bombing a children's hospital, as if any clarification was needed as to why Ukraine must have all possible support now and real guarantees for security in the future. As I said earlier in my um, first video today, this is a, a, just a really naive and stupid decision from the Russians. Why would you do this on the eve of a NATO summit just insane the russians uh, attacked with 38 missiles uh, 30 of the 38 were shot down in total the russians launched um as as mentioned 38 but the which were shot down so we have 13 kh101 were shot 11 uh, were shot down 14 caliber cruise missiles of which 12 were shot down um uh, what else do we have Three of the four Iskander M ballistic missiles were shot down. One 3M22 Zircon was shot down. One Kinjal air ballistic missile was shot down. All three KH-59 and two KH-22 cruise missiles. So they did a fairly good job, but eight got through and there, there appears to be a lot of damage. Now, I don't know how accurate those claims are from the Ukrainians, but what appears to be the case is that there was uh, some Yuko Baromprom very close to the uh, the hospital, although not close enough to warrant that this was just one that was aiming for Yuko Baromprom uh, and just went awry. So it's a good kilometre away. And when you've got the circle error probable of these missiles, it's unlikely when you get one with the ballistic trajectory slamming into that hospital and when you see three uh, medical facilities hit, uh, it's unlikely that that is the case and that's what war vehicle tracker here says who's a pretty open and honest uh, polish OSINT source here so the pov the red pin is definitely not 100 percent correct but so this is the video that you can see there and it swings you see it swings from looking at then in that direction to then looking left that direction there are a number of missiles slamming into as you can see, explosion after explosion there into what looks like the Yuko Baromprom uh, Zavod Artem, which is up here. So he, he swings from looking up there to over there, and the children's hospital is way back here. So th that's the uh, that's a PO view looking. So between the two red lines is the filmed impacts of the Zavod Artem military industrial concern under Yuko Baromprom, which produces AAMs and more so so that's where he's looking and then swings back sorry to look at the hospital as i said originally um uh so that produces anti-aircraft missiles and more uh they are there are between seven, five and seven visible impacts so that doesn't really track with the um the claims to, as to how many missiles were shot down uh, you know successfully unless there have been more since then um because it's been an on ongoing thing green uh shows the hit on the hospital so looking around to the hospital over there so to clear up between this two red lines is from uh, zero to uh, eight seconds and from uh, 10 to the end is um is is that so eight to ten seconds is a flip round to the hospital uh so between eight and ten seconds is between the left red line and the green line showing the single impact on the children's hospital before swinging back to zavod artem uh, another video shows the same five to seven impacts uh, much nearer to the plant itself so there's another video to confirm at least the strikes on yuko baromprom um so someone then says, thanks for your work. Remains to be seen why one of the strikes was so far off target. One kilometer is no joke. Hopefully some fragments at the site reveal more details. Are they using some old INS trash to target inside the city again? 
and uh, ve War Vehicle Tracker says, uh, yes, it was indeed intentional, and in especially looking at the trajectory of the missile. Uh, so he's confident that um, this was an intentional strike on the hospital. And then when you see that there are three hospitals in total, then it's just too ridiculous to see um, to to conclude that they were not I intentional. But I'm sure those arguments are still float around i've hopefully put paid to those arguments it doesn't matter even if these were mistakenly strikes on hospitals it is not good enough that an invading army is throwing missiles into U ukraine's capital at rush hour you know while children are being um worked on in surgery as a surgeon was thrown across the room in, with one of the strikes there while working on uh a presumably a child just inc absolutely incredible now i was wondering how this is being re reported at the moment it is front page on the guardian ukraine's biggest children's medical facility damaged by massive russian attack on kiev Zelensky confirms um i would have been a bit stronger with with that but nonetheless it is front page indeed this uh oh no that's not it um uh, and then new york times has it uh, a little bit further down in their russia ukraine um, section Russia strikes children's hospital in deadly barrage across Ukraine so it's being reported sort of front page but a little bit further down there uh, in New York Times I was interested to see what Fox News American um, news station that, that kind of favors uh, Trump and the right uh, very very overtly and actually it's right at the bottom of the entire page of news so you have to go through all of this all of this um, all of this until you get right to, to the bottom and I believe even further there and it's down here. Russian missiles hit children's hospital in Kiev, kill at least 20 across Ukraine ahead of NATO summit. Uh, that I, I wish was right at the top of the page because that should tell the Fox News viewers really what is going on. I think it's a terrible bit of news here and it needs the mainstream media need to be talking about this needs to be at the front and center of people's minds so that we're under no illusion as to who the bad guys are in this um but yeah it is some some uh terrible footage coming out this is horrific and that hospital i mean twenty thousand children to be you know would normally be treated in that hospital now reduced to um uh, you know a shadow of its former self and and i don't know whether that means you are not going to see uh much work take place there going forward um let's see uh so if we go back to um the uh, my sort of feed here you can see uh that okay at the scene of one tra of the tragedy the wreckage of the rear part of an x101 missile with a serial number and the wing part of the same missile have already been found um i don't know which site that is there's all sorts of OSINT uh, people working on this. Uh, this is uh, Gick from Andrew Perpetua's team working on geolocations and whatnot. But yeah, it, it's just really bad news today and uh, an absolute travesty uh, for those poor Ukrainians who have died and uh, for those children in that children's hospital especially if you've been injured in one part of Ukraine taken to that hospital to be saved and then hit by a missile absolutely uh horrific um yeah uh by some weird coincidence russia fired multiple cruise missiles into multiple hospitals around ukraine simultaneously uh so trying to work out actually whether ballistic missiles are responsible or cruise missiles we've seen the trajectory appears to be ballistic uh, there are a number of different missiles that have different um paths but also a number of different bits of footage coming out and it's whether all of them refer to what they claim to be referring to so it could be actually that's one on yuko Baron prom but it's been claimed about the uh the hospital but nonetheless lots of missiles going into ukraine uh and a number of medical facilities here remember that russia have form as well so if we look at syria where they were given the coordinates for 24 hospitals, was it? By, I think, International Red Cross or Amnesty International, a number of people saying, these are the coordinates for the hospitals. Please do not strike the hospitals. And Russia used that data to explicitly strike those hospitals. 
It was absolutely horrific. So they have form for striking medical institutions. There are well over 700, I think, it might even be well over 1,000 medical institutions that have been hit, uh, that have been hit whether it, on purpose or not in Ukraine since the beginning of the war. Russia have form for certainly targeting uh, medical in institutions in Syria, and it appears very much so in Ukraine as well. Um, so we shouldn't be surprised, but we should be equally as outraged. Um, anyway, I'll I'll leave it there, but I just thought I'd throw another uh, few bits of information onto this developing story.